Hello, accounting transaction involving paying employees with cash for 420 in this case. So we can see that we are the owner paying the employee with cash at this point in time. We're going to record this in terms of the accounting equation. That is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Every transaction has at least two accounts that are affected. Every transaction will be in such a way that the accounting equation will remain in balance. This is where we're starting off before this transaction. So note we are already in balance before the transaction. And that is that we have 77,000 cash. That's our total assets. We have no liabilities at this point in time. And equity, we've got the 70,000 in capital, the 7,000 in revenue. That means total assets add up to 77,000. Uh, the liabilities and equity add up to 77,000. And we've got 7,000 in net income represented by this revenue account here. Now this is the transaction that's currently going to happen that we're going to record having two accounts that will be impacted. That will be one question. First question I ask is whether cash is affected or not. We can see that cash is involved in this transaction through the image here. Therefore cash in this case going down in terms of the owner of course it's going down. That means that cash will be going down. First transaction cash is an asset it's going to be decreasing. That means that asset side of the equation will be going down. One other account is going to be affected at least. And if we look through these accounts, it's going to be, hmm, how about wages expenses? Now, wages expenses are a little bit more complicated in terms of which way it is going. It's only going to go one direction all the time as an expense, meaning it's always going to be reducing total owner's equity. So we can see here that cash went down as well. And it's on this side of the equal sign. We see that the other side of the, e the equal sign is going to be impacting wages expense. It must then be going down in order for the accounting equation to remain in balance, which indeed it is. So assets went down, equity went down, no impact on the liabilities in this case. So we can see what's going to be the impact on net income. We see that total assets, we see that equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We can see that net income is going to go down in this case. Why? because expenses are part of the income statement. So these blue accounts are part of the income statement and income net income is calculated as revenue minus expenses. And so expenses are going to bring down net income. Now, if we look at the balance, then we're just going to add or subtract this across. We've got 77,000 minus the 420 brings us to 76,580, zero plus zero, zero, zero plus zero, zero, zero plus zero, zero. We get the 70,000 capital plus zero, 70,000 capital. We've got the beginning revenue 7,000 plus zero is 7,000. We've got the wages is zero. And then we've got the negative 420. So we're at a negative 420. Why is it negative? Again, expenses kind of only go up. We think of expenses going up later on when we think about debits and credits. But when we think of it as a component of owner's equity, they're always bringing down owner's equity, bringing down net income. And then we've got zero and zero here. That means our ending balance is in balance, meaning total assets are just the 76,580 here. Liabilities are zero. We've got the equity of seven, uh, 70,000, 7,420. 70,000 plus 7,000 minus 420 is total liabilities plus equity equaling 76,580. Total assets equal total liabilities plus owner's equity for the, for the balance of the transaction as well as for the transaction itself. Impact on net income as a whole now, 6,580. How? We've got the total revenue after these transactions, 7,000 minus the expenses 420 income at this point in time what we have earned our performance at this point in time 6580